what's up guys welcome to another video and today we're going to be placing my spark plugs on my b8s4 let's get it so i went ahead and uh removed the intake took the shield off put it over there um if you have the stock air box you definitely got to remove that because you need all the space you can get so we're going to start on the passenger side um basically remove these connectors for the wire harness Remove these coil packs, pop them out, replace them, um, take those spark plugs out, put that sucker in. Gonna be the same thing over here. The little challenge is we have to remove this coolant reservoir. It shouldn't be that hard. You could actually shift it aside or you could completely remove it, which leads to you have to get get out, get the, uh, the all the fluid out. Well, we're not gonna, for me, I'm not gonna um, take the fluid out. I'm gonna try see if I could finesse it by just Moving these two bolts, removing this shit to the side just to get a little room on each side. We'll see if that works. All right, so to begin, we have to remove these torques right here, just to have some um, wiggle room to move this, and then we're gonna disconnect each connector. So to remove the little bolts that used to be here, you use a T20, and then, so you have a little wiggle room, and then you have to kind of pull this till you hear like a clicking sound sometimes it's gonna be a little bit difficult especially when it's been sitting down for a while so my best bet kind of like massage it in until you hear a click if you can't really get it as as well as much from um if you can't really do it well with your finger you can use like a little clip or something to get in here and kind of like twist a little bit and you hear like a pop sound and kind of just press down a bit just press down to hear a click sound. So I already made a click on this one. Let's try this one. There you go. So once you hear that click, it's disconnected and it can be removed. So let's try with the last one. And you gotta be very gentle. Remember, this is plastic. Last thing you wanna do is to break anything. So once you get all of them disconnected, just kind of shake it until it slides right out. It should come right out. So now it's free. Now we're able to remove these. This is gonna be a little bit difficult as well because you're kind of sucked in and if you can't pull it out with your hand, you gotta get some kind of tool to pry it out and it'll pop right out. go and do the last one kind of use a little pry tool here just to kind of prop it out a little bit while I twist it out it should come right out there we go so we got all three out so you know what Based on the wear and tear, these coil packs look kind of rough. You know what? I kind of regret not replacing these as well. Well, this one seems fine. And then this one is fine. So they all look pretty good, pretty decent. This one in the middle kind of, it's kind of odd. But in general, they look like in good shape. But I would like to replace these soon, in the, you know, probably soon in the future. Kind of wish I didn't just replace them one time, but I know I needed spark plugs, you know. All right, let's get these spark plugs out. All right, let's get the first one out. Whoa, well, that's terrible. Um, well, what really matters is right here doesn't see but it's pretty bad like uh, I'm kind of glad I'm replacing it let's see how the other two turns out this one's a little bit this one's cleaner it's not bad and then hit the last one mm-hmm 
So this is a Florida car. So maybe that will answer some questions if you guys are curious about this, how why it looks like that. But um, yeah, it's gross. So what I will do, I'm gonna get my compressor on. I'm gonna blow out each of these just to make sure it's clean and then we install the new ones. Okay guys, so I already blew it out, got all that dirt and debris and stuff out, so it's nice and clean. So we're about to go ahead and start installing the first three. Now we're gonna start installing the first three spark plugs. So, all right guys, so I just installed all three of those spark plugs with a, and tightened it up. Well, it's snug it really, you don't have to super tighten, but snug it up with a 5.8 socket, uh, um, spark plug socket. And I don't know, I felt like I had to say this. You make sure you do this with a cold engine. I should have said this from the get-go, but I don't know why I felt like it's necessary to say it. Some people will pull up and have the car and still hot and, you know, try to get this done. It's highly recommended that you do this on a cold engine. I went ahead and cleaned the uh, spark, uh, not spark plugs. I went ahead and cleaned the coal packs a little bit, make sure there's no dirt corrosion or anything that might cause any issues towards it. So now I'm gonna put it back together. We'll see. Those look good. Uh -huh. And then you kind of have to press down a little bit until you fit like, like you shift just a tad bit lower. That's how you know it's secure. And when you're done, just connect, reconnect all the connectors. While doing this, listen out for like a click sound. That's, that's when you know it's secured in, like that. Once it's secure in, that's it. You're good. So we're gonna put the Torx back on this and we're pretty much done on this side. All right, for the passenger side, a little bit more steps. So you wanna remove uh, this um, return line. Remove these two bolts here. I believe they look like tens. And then on the bottom, I'll show you on the other side so you can see what I'm talking about these inserts right here it's gonna be the same thing over there so what you want to do is kind of wiggle it off so once you get this off and these two off you want to be gentle and wiggle it off main reason remember guys there's a hose down there for the coolant so you don't for the reservoir so you don't want to be too aggressive the whole goal was to try to create a little bit of clearance so we could get back here without any trouble all right let's see if this works all right, so I was able to finesse it. I can only get the two in the back, but that's fine. Once I install this, um, these two, put everything back together on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and do the last one in the front once I put this back in place. But even these spark plugs look kind of rough. So they, yeah, there is about that time for them anyways. Um, the coil pack looks pretty much good, but I'm gonna ahead and clean that up before I put it back in. Um, but yeah, that's the clearance I have. So it's possible to do it with this intact, but do it at your own risk. Please be careful, especially with this right here. You break this, you gotta replace the whole piece. So you have this all the way down in there towards right here. There's a one piece. Okay, so I just placed back the, uh, the reservoir. Re reconnect the um, the line, the return line, and for the last spark plug, um, I get like high two extension and a flex, so or a swivel, so I just have that, so I can have that little extra room, so I don't have to touch anything, so I can get it out, and that's it, man. Once we knock that out, put everything back together, it should be golden. All right, guys, so I'm finally done. I uh, Reinstall all the spark plugs. Everything is snug. Coil packs are in. I clean them before I put them in. All of the connectors are in and secure. Like I said, once you push it in, make sure you hear that click sound. That's so you know it's secure and it's good. 
put the bolts back on the Torx. Same thing over here, just to reinstall the intake. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, this is not really hard. It's just a little time consuming because of the layers on both sides. But if you have patience and you just get a job done right the first time, you should be golden. All right, guys. First start after in the install. And on that note, guys, that's pretty much it on this video. I hope this was short and sweet and informative for you guys. I hope it helpful. If you have any issues or any questions relating to this, leave a comment below. And I'll try to answer it as soon as possible. And on a personal note, guys, thank you so much. Annoying. Thank you so much, guys. Um, for your support thank you for all the likes you hit up on my videos and thank you for over 100 subscribers so far guys that means a lot to me it motivates me when i saw it i was just proud of myself and i'm grateful and guys with that don't forget to subscribe like if you like this video support my channel and i cannot wait to see you guys in the next video peace